Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. Very good. Heed my words. You know I will. Oh, hold B. You build a power and then release it. All right. Well, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The amazing sword technique that you have all been waiting for. <laughs> Hooray for this really awkward superior shot. You learned the hurricane spin. Nice. Unfortunately, it consumes magic power, and when you're done using it, you're left vulnerable. You did it. You've mastered the hurricane spin. Made our long-held dream come true. <laughs> oh, the joyful tears. They won't stop. I thought my tears had dried up long ago. Wow, that is really depressing, old man. There's nothing left for me to teach you. I'm certain now that you will save your sister, Aril, and bring her home to Outset. Cool. All right. Well, um, there is one last thing that I want to do here, and... If we decide to speak with him, he'll allow us to uh, spar with him, essentially. So, should we decide to fight, we need to land as many hits on him as possible without getting hit ourselves. Three times. Alright, it's time to face off the apprentice versus the master. However, he doesn't have a whole lot of faith in our ability to fight him because he still thinks we're a page level sword uh, master. Not quite. I do have the Master Sword, but he apparently doesn't realize that. Very good. So, to try and hit him a hundred times or more before he hits us three times is a bit of a lofty task. And something I will probably end up uh, cutting through and, uh, you know, speeding up because this isn't the only time we need to do this. And it's a little ridiculous, but I'll meet you guys at the end of this in maybe a speed up montage? I'm not sure. It's the same thing over and over. Enough! Yes, please stop abusing children as Pixel is trying to walk all over my lap. So, for beating his 100 blow requirement, um, yeah, probably shouldn't let Grandma know about that. He was wrong of us to demean us to, or was wrong of him to demean us as a page. We are now a knight. Well, considering I brought you 10 knight's crests that I stole off of the necks of uh, very beefy, burly, uh, I don't even know what kind of enemies they are. They're kind of one of those uh, mummy things. I can't even think of them. Those guys, the warlocks. It is not much, but he will give us 50 rupees. Worth my time? I think not, but the reward only gets sweeter from here. And my sword clips through the floor. Round number two. Yes, please. And thank you, because now our hit requirement is just a little bit bigger than last time. Because now we gotta take him out um, with 300 hits before he hits us three times. So again, take it away, music. And with that, we have beaten his arbitrary score and requirement to 301. We have improved. Indeed we have. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child that you are. From now on, you have my respect because clearly you didn't have it before this day. I shall call you swordsman. Well, haven't I technically always been a swordsman considering I've held a sword for God knows how long? 
You will likely need something like this in your travels. Take it. So for beating 300 blows, he gives us an orange rupee. Kind of underwhelming, I know, but well, prepare to be underwhelmed once again because we have another challenge that Orca would like us to undertake. Yes, we will fight again. Because this time, a swordsman requirement for surpassing the master is 500 hits. Yep, to become the true master, 500 before the three times. So let's hope the parry doesn't screw me over as well as that wooden fish in the background is a giant ornamental orca in the back. And let's see if we can't knock this out, shall we? Let's do it. go I have finally done it I tried to parry that last one but you might have caught a glimpse of it two of my parries failed and one of them was completely unintentional so that was really bad I actually lost to this asshole at 467 blows because of an unintentional parry it is bad and I hate it however because we have already become a fine swordsman he is certain that we can do even better, and this is where that normal, sane type of person who is doing a walkthrough of this video would stop. Any reasonable person would stop after collecting the piece of heart that you get from beating him 500 times with your master sword. But we all know that I am completely unreasonable, I am definitely not sane, and uh, well, let's just say that I'm a 10 year old with a cause, so we're doing it again, baby. Because this time, the arbitrary requirement to become even a truer Master Swordsman lies when you max out the meter. And uh, you might be surprised to hear that, well, I'd be more than happy to keep coming at him until he, we get hit three times. So, let's find another YouTube video and uh, I'll meet you guys in just a moment. Okay, we are nearly there. He keeps doing these unblockable moves, and I've been screwed over too many times by the parry to even bother. But once we hit 999, he stops us, and we finish the trial. My hands are sweating. I got through a 30-minute RP video. It was fantastic. Impressive! I lost count of how many times you struck me. I guess I really am indestructible and will never die. 
You have learned all I have to teach. Master Ellison. Yes. Master, there's not much to speak of, but please take this. And it is really one of the most underwhelming prizes that they could ever give us. A silver rupee. I mean, it is 200 and we are going to be spending it soon. But I just wanted to show that extra bit of dialogue as well. Ah, how pleasant. My arm feels numb. Can you please call a hospital? <laughs> I might be having a stroke. Is your left index finger not numb as well? <laughs> nice breaking of the fourth wall there because you're Z-targeting with your left trigger. <laughs> But jokes on Orca. Do you want to know why? Because, well, you can have uh, the hold. Like, you can just press it once and it will hold. And you don't even have to push it down. So, it's kind of silly. But that is all we have to do here at the dojo. And I'm kind of glad I finally got it over with. I, of course, had to come back and uh, do this on a different day prior to the other recordings. But now that's done, we can finally edit it all together and have so much fun. <sighs> But we're here again, and before we end things off, just so that we can make sure that it's its own separate video, it's nice and bulky, lengthy, it has risen, the yeast hasn't fucked with the flower, let's go talk to his brother once again. Now, we ended up talking to him a really long time ago, and I'm actually very curious to see if he has any additional dialogue, considering we did best 10 Dark Nuts, as well as the cheating asshole Orca. There are so many moments where I should have not been hit, and I did. And I almost was going to restart after I got my second blow because, well, obviously, I didn't want to go, you know, 700 more hits and then, you know, fuck up at the very end. But, yeah, we managed to get through 700 plus without getting hit, so that's pretty decent. Anyways, what do you have to say, good sir? Oh, Alison, you've come back! And in one piece, too, gracious, what about your dear little sister? Yep, this island has seen more than its fair share of trouble lately, night after night. Time after time, monsters appear. In town, the fiends! They've come to ravage our peaceful little island. Nobody knows. But they don't seem to want to hurt the villagers. It's quite puzzling, even for my larger-than-average intellect. Yeah, you don't say. So for some reason, I was under the impression that once we got to 9 at 9, Orca would allow us to keep going until we failed. But I knew that it... It topped out at 999. I just didn't think he would stop. So, um, next time on The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we're actually going to be taking pictures of every single person on Outset, and I will be taking them over to the figurine maker in uh, the Forest Haven area. And after that, I think we're going to be meeting back at Windfall again. I know, it's all backwards. I think it's the third recording in a row that I'll be starting at Windfall. But there's a couple of things that we can do on our way to the Forsaken Fortress and finally rescue our sister. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of exploring for a little bit. There's other things we can do, but for the most part, we're going to probably end up avoiding it. Also, how's it going? She's cute. Well done. I will make sure that um, he figures your pot over your head too, and we'll be great. Also, ooh, it's this big fella. Unfortunately, we can't we can't quite pick him up yet, even if not just from his butt. What do you have to say about your large pig, sir? Oh, you made it back. Yes, I did. Say, do you remember the day you first caught the Soinker and brought him over here? I do. He's huge. Not just bigger, he's a lot heavier, too. Say, is there any way you could pick him up and take him for a walk for me? Really? You mean you built this pig encasement without a fence? Ah, what, a what makes you think I'll be able to do it? I'm 10 years old. Jerk. But like I said, next time we will meet on Windfall and this guy who's just lazy bastard is gonna hang out here and uh, it'll be good. Thank you guys so much for watching. My fingers are kind of killing me because I did fail a couple times at the Orca Challenge. And I especially... I guess I spent probably over 50 minutes here, so... Fantastic! Let's hope the recording doesn't fail. And I'll meet you guys here in Wind Waker HD next time. Thanks for watching.